YouTube? Whoa. I'm touching the camera and you can see my hand. You can see my, this is my surgery scar from when I broke my arm. Turn on the mic so it sounds nice. I don't know why, but I just felt like filming with the fisheye lens. It's kind of cool. You get a new view of what the space looks like. Also, you now know I sit on the floor. Did you know that before? Maybe, probably. Otherwise, why was the futon always so high? Look at that dope cat art. That is some sweet decor, if you ask me. <coughs> uh, forever sick. Forever sick. Hey all, so I get tons of requests from you guys asking me to do editing tutorials. Apparently, you like the way I edit, which is dope because I usually spend like 20 hours of video. And today, that's what I'm doing, teaching you super neat editing things. If you like this kind of video, you can thank Skillshare for sponsoring it. Skillshare is a super cool site for creators who want to learn from and teach each other. Right now, it has over 12,000 classes in design, photo, film, and more. Everyone in the Skillshare community is free to take a class, try a project, or even teach a class if they like. Membership is only $8 a month, and that's for unlimited learning. Of course, I have a sweet hookup for you. Click the link below and you can try Skillshare for three months for only 99 cents. All right, on to my tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to mask footage into text or how to replace the color of text and the shape of text with footage. How to make cool moving text shaped footage. I don't know how to explain things, but it looks like this. It's pretty cool. I do it a lot. Maybe you want to know how to do it. I'm going to be doing this with Final Cut Pro 10, but as long as you have an editing software that has some kind of keyer or green screen or chroma key effect, you should be able to do this too, no problem. Even really rudimentary softwares or softwares that come with computers like Microsoft Movie Maker and iMovie, they have the capacity to do this. So. Yeah. There are three steps to masking footage into text. One, find good font. Two, find good footage. Three, mask. It's easy. So step one, find a font. This effect works best if the font you choose is simple and clean and easy to read. Today I'm gonna use this one. Then I'm gonna type my message, make it big, make it green, and put it over a black background. Step one is done. Step two, find some footage you want to mask into your message. You can really use anything for this. Things I like to use include bokeh or rain, night skies, space, clouds, slow motion ink, expanding into water, or looping textures. And I get most of my footage by taking it straight from YouTube. Whatever I'm looking for, I type it in the search bar, followed by the phrase royalty free, so I know I have the rights to use it. And when I find a video I like and want to use, I copy that link, pop it into keepvid.com, and rip it right from the website. <laughs> Note, this effect works best if the footage you choose does not have the color green in it, because we're going to be chroma keying green to make transparency things, and if it has green, you're gonna also make your footage transparent. Just pick footage without green. Hooray, you found the footage you wanna use and you downloaded it. Now pop it into your editing software, but just set it to the side for a bit. And finally, step three, we mask. So go back to your black background and green text and make that whole thing a compound clip. In Final Cut, I do this by highlighting the clips I wanna make into one compound click, then right clicking and then selecting new compound clip. Next, add a keyer green screen or chroma key effect onto it. In Final Cut, I just go into keying and then drag the keyer effect onto the clip. Yay! When you do this, your green text should disappear. You now just have a black screen. If there's a slight outline where your text used to be, shrink the edges so they disappear. In my software, I do this by going to the matte tools and adjusting the shrink slash expand lever thingy. I'm a professional. I know all the official jargon for this stuff. Now take your new compound clip and turn it green. I did this by highlighting the clip, clicking show color board, and adjusting things until it was green. Now you should have a black font, except it's not black, it's actually see-through, it just looks black, and a green background. Next, go find the footage you downloaded from before and drag it underneath the clip you just made. Then highlight everything and make it one giant compound clip. Lastly, go back to your keyer effect and drag that 
onto everything to key out the green, and boom! You've just masked footage into text! Your text is now footage! Hooray! You can put this over anything you want. You can leave it on this black background you probably have, or you can drag it over other footage, or you can put it on different footage, or whatever, but it's cool! Your text is now footage! That's neat! Good for you! And this whole thing might seem really long and complicated, but once you do it like twice, it becomes a really fast, easy process. So that is the end of this video. I've always kind of wanted to make editing tutorials, but I've been really hesitant because it's off-brand for me, you know? But like, screw that! I'm just gonna make what I want to make! I am curious if you enjoyed this though, so if you did, why don't you type meow in the comments? And if you thought this was super boring and never want to watch a video like this from me again, type avocado in the comments! Don't worry, I won't take it personally, I'm just using you guys as a focus group in this moment. Meow or avocado, either way, we will confuse a lot of people who look at the comment section but didn't make it to this point in the video, and that's hilarious. Also, be sure to check out the other super neat tutorial videos on Skillshare, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm in the text. Can you see me? Can you see me? This is kind of trippy, isn't it? Um, I'm talking to you right now on the end screen because uh, I'm gonna, I'm making a commitment. I commit to daily vlogging every day for the rest of this month on my second channel. So my second channel uh, will be in the description. It's One Take Ash, and it's going to be really shitty, but it is going to be every day. You, This is my word. I've given you my word. You want a daily dose of ash every day. A low-quality, tangential, convoluted, very flawed and messy <laughs> daily dose of ash head over to my second channel. We all might regret it. Okay, goodbye!